Hi YouTube, uh, I'm Code Gorilla, and this is going to be a Gloomhaven All Classes speedrun. I'm recording this from my Twitch channel, uh, twitch.tv slash Code Gorilla, for the purposes of potentially submitting this for a marathon at some point, depending on how this run goes, obviously, but... Uh, and so what is Gloomhaven? Gloomhaven is a digital adaptation of a board game, a legacy RPG dungeon crawler style board game. Uh, so this uh, ends up playing like a tactical RPG type game. Um, because it's based on a board game, uh, basically everything in the game is represented by cards if you're playing with the physical version. So if I refer to things as cards, that's why. Um, let's go ahead and get into the settings for the run. Um, yep, thank you for hanging out, penguins. Uh, so, I am going to be doing a new run, a new campaign. All characters fast. So, uh, we're going to be playing on the easiest setting because... This can already be a high variance game. Uh, putting this on the easiest setting reduces a lot of that variance and makes it a lot easier for us to actually get through this quickly. Uh, you can see by my splits, it's already a three and a half hour run. So it's going to be kind of a, uh, um, it's gonna be kind of long. Uh, some other house rules, we're allowed to use whatever house rules we want. Uh, we definitely want the DLC. One of the DLC characters is instrumental in uh, actually completing a lot of these scenarios. So I'll mention that more when we get to it. Uh, we're going to use the variant that uses plus two and minus two attack modifiers. The way attacks you work in this game, you have a base attack value, and then you draw a random modifier to add to that attack. Um, normally, the attack that all the attack decks come with a times two and a times zero um, but obviously that can add a lot of variance if you draw a times zero when you need to actually do damage uh, or the enemy draws a times two so we go with the lower variance option again for speed running purposes um, the only other one worth briefly mentioning is spawn monsters drop gold on death normally monsters that start placed in the scenario have money and monsters that are summoned do not we want all of them to have money for us to be able to pick up just a little bit more money not a big deal one way or the other um but with that out of the way i think we're gonna get started once i uh take a drink of water here so the thing to know about how character creation works in this game i'm going to talk about this a little bit before i go into it because i have to go into it right away um, the thing that unlocks character classes is personal quests. So a sp new character will have a personal quest that is one of two options. You'll draw two cards from the deck and you'll look at one of them and you'll pick, you'll pick one of them, uh, and then they'll go to the bottom of the deck and the order of that deck does not change until you delete or retire a character. And there's 24 cards in the deck. Uh, so once you go make 12 characters you know exactly the order of that deck um i'm going to abuse that to create a very specific set of characters with a very specific set of personal quests uh so you're going to see me create a lot of brutes just learning what the deck order is and then filling out the list as i go through um so that's what this character creation is going to look like right off the bat there's nine characters we need to make uh we'll actually make a lot more than that and then end up deleting most of them but um so let's go ahead and get started in three two one go we're also going to skip an opening cutscene here by watching this loading screen when it hitches i will start clicking and if i do that correctly i will skip the opening cutscene Perfect. We're going to turn off the tutorial first thing, uh, and we're going to start creating brutes. And I'm just going to give them simple names. Right. That one had nothing. Position one is nothing. 
position two had a Barrett and Paul. We need both of those. So we'll be back. Fortunately, they both need to be brutes, so. All right, Piety is on three. That's another one we need. Goliath Toppler, perfect. We needed that to be a brute, so that one's done. Uh, as is a Barrett Slayer. Uh, perfect poison, great. Didn't mean to cross off that one, but that's okay. Doing six. Nothing there. Okay. That had helping hand and merchant. We'll need to come back for merchant. Um, I should start making spell weavers. Because I've now seen all the brute classes. Yeah. Oh. Okay, hang on. I named some wrong. Uh, so this is actual 10. Uh, actual 10. <clears throat> and the only thing I haven't seen at this point is Merchant, so... Okay. Merchant should show up no. Trophy Hunt. The only thing I haven't seen is Trophy Hunt. So I should be safe to name this one Trophy... Trophy Hunt. Great. Got that one done. Now we're going to make some trash characters that are guaranteed to be delete. Uh, this next one is going to be named Fall. Needs to be a Brute. That's all the brutes we need to make. Uh, this next one is going to be a hatchet. That's the DLC class. Uh, piety. Now we're back to trash. This is four. Keep five. Six. All right. This one's going to be a spell weaver named Merchant or Merch. <laughs> and then we've got one more trash character. And then finally, a Cragheart named Pounds. Uh, And we're not quite done with character creation yet, because I'm going to clean up this menu um, to make it easier for the rest of the run. But first, you, you, uh, we're just going to buy some blesses before I delete these two characters for reasons. Uh, all right, so you delete. You're useful. You. Uh, wait. No. You delete. You are useful. You're useful. You. Okay. Uh, so. Delete. So those five are good. Right, I need to come here. Delete. 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 
delete, 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 delete. Okay. Now, the characters we're putting in our party for the first time, we're going to put in trophy and piety. Going to the merchant. Trophy is buying a minor healing potion, or minor power potion, and a boots of striding. You're buying a minor power potion. Uh, I'm going to set up your cards. Yep. Um, these are going to be the cards they use for basically the entire run. Uh, you get rid of close cuts and second wind and add those two. I uh, remember to equip your items. And we do a city encounter. Uh, we don't want that city encounter, so we're just going to walk away. And remember to go to the Temple of the Great Oak and buy a blessing. So Piety's uh, goal is to spend... Buy 12 blessings, and you can only buy one yeah, per good. scenario. So, we have to make sure we buy one every scenario they go into, pretty much. Um, okay, we're going to clear some trees from the road, because we have a spell we were in the party. That doesn't cost yeah, us anything. Easy enough. As you... uh, here we have to pick our battle goals before we go into the scenario. These mostly don't matter. Um, because it's rare that you actually get the battle goals. And with that, we can actually get into the very first scenario. And you can see what the actual gameplay is like. Uh, where's my mouse? So, um, here's what we're doing. is We're picking out cards. Uh, and the way this works is you pick out two cards. The first one you pick is your initiative that determines when you go in the round. Um, and then when it's your turn, you have to do the top half of one of your cards and the bottom half of the other one. Um, so I'm going to go all the way up to here. Skip the rest of your movement. Confirm targets. And end turn. And... Now we're going to take a beating. We're just going to tank all this damage. Couldn't be a problem. No, that's fine. You're going to do some basic movement. Set up a thing for next turn. And you're done. And that's the end of the round. And that's basically what we do. Is uh, What's your other card? I want you to go early. Okay. So, you are going to attack these three people. Good, you killed at least one of them. Uh, this spell weaver's goal, personal quest, is to make sure they kill... Uh, 20 different monsters over the course of the game. So, gonna make some attacks here. Using an ability called the Favorite, which basically lets you pick a specific enemy to do plus three damage to. Uh, all right. And now, one of the best cards for the Spell Weaver uh, Ride the Wind. And you're going to short rest, which lets you get back cards you previously used. And you're doing... What do I do? Oh, right. Double throw. So. Some powerful cards going on here. Uh, these are cards that when you use them, they are lost forever. So you only get one shot at them. But as a result, they tend to be pretty powerful. That's unfortunate. Was hoping to kill that archer, but hey, what are you gonna do? Uh, the answer is get shot by the archer and need to not die. Okay. 
And now, move eight, jump. Jump means I can ignore these traps in the way, and enemies in the way. And I'm using boots to go even further. Uh, doing a move, ten, jump, to get right in the middle of all these enemies, where I hopefully kill them all. I did not kill them all, so we'll have to finish them off next turn. Thankfully, the skeletons here didn't do any damage. Uh, so you're doing center mass follow through. Yep. Okay. That should be good. Yeah, we don't care that he's putting up a shield this turn because it's not going to matter. You get to move down here. Skip the rest of your movement, but we're going to now just push him through the traps. Which should take care of things. Uh, and I want to do that to get a little bit more money. Because uh, the hatchet here needs to actually get some money. As well. You, however, do not. So I'm just going to skip the rest of your turn. And we're done. Alright. It is really hard to talk about this while I'm doing it. Um, so I don't know how... I think if I'm doing this in a marathon, I'm going to have to find someone to do commentary with me. Because I don't feel that I can actually commentate this while doing it. Okay. Uh, okay. Oh, I split early there, technically, because I need to go back to Gloomhaven. Okay. We're on to scenario number two. Uh. And basically, for every different scenario uh we have to go back to town and a lot of the times we have to rearrange our characters so you are now going to be merchant uh and we're going to add goliath toppler i'm going to set up your cards since this is the first time we're using this character same with you uh, we're going to go to the merchant. Goliath needs to buy uh, Boots of Striding and a Minor Power Potion. You need to buy a Minor Power Potion. Uh, you need to equip said Minor Power Potion. You need to equip both your items. Uh, you need to go to the temple. You need to get a Blessing. Um... And we need to take a city encounter. Uh, okay. Uh, we're going to split it between the two characters that actually need the money. Um, yeah, we're taking city encounters to try and... Uh, get plus reputation because we're going to need a little bit of bonus reputation in order to unlock a class much later, later on. This day. Okay. Um. I don't know if they'll actually get those particular battle goals. We'll see. Depends a little bit on exactly what we draw on some of these turns. Uh, Alright. You are doing this and that. You are doing Fancy Hat Double Throw. Right? Yeah, fancy Hat Double Throw. And you're starting here and doing Warding Strength and Shield Bash? I've forgotten. Yes. Shield Bash. Uh, so... Plus one to all your attacks this round. Go ahead and use the potion. We want to make sure these two die. That's why we use the potion. Would have liked it if that character had died. Um, I think it's still better for me to attack here. And push through that trap. These traps stun. Uh, 
poison's gonna be a little bit obnoxious. Oh, I picked the wrong card. It's fine. You're just not gonna get your bonus money. Uh, you're doing Ride the Wind Fire Orbs this turn. You're doing Favorite Extra Lift. Or... Uh, I think it's more important to put that up. So let's do those two. Let's get... Let's just have you get both of your things up. Um, and you're gonna do... I'm thinking about this too much. No, I need you to attack. Um... there get some money and and turn right. your turn no longer matters good you're not actually uh skip the rest of your movement Use the potion. Hopefully kill the two archers on the sides. And damage the boss. So what we want the boss to not do is open one of these side doors. Because that will reveal more enemies and make this take even longer. Uh, okay. I need that extra movement, so do these two, and you're doing skewer balance measure. Let's go. So. Great, fantastic. Uh, why don't you go ahead and get rid of your poison in case that matters? It probably won't, but you never know. You can get all the way to here and then do an attack nine on the bots. Fantastic. And I think we'll finish this scenario this turn. Oh, maybe not. I'm um, just a little bit of movement short. Uh, skip the rest of your movement. I want you to kill the boss before he summons or adds anything else to this encounter. Uh, and you're gonna do that. Okay. I want you to go here. Skip. I should have had you jump on a coin. Oh well. Uh, it's money. And then turn. Okay. All right. Hey, this is hard to do commentary while I'm actually doing this run. Um, so I'm just going to do the run. Unlock some stuff. Uh, 
Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. And then one boss scenario for Goliath. Yep. And that's when I split. Okay. Uh, so the damned. Go to the merchant. You sell your boots of striding. Uh, swap merchant for trophy and drop Goliath. Go to the temple. You buy a blessing. Um, take a city encounter. Uh, Oh, that's bad. That's really bad. Uh, okay. Well, I now have a hole to get out of. Um, I misremembered what the correct answer was there. Uh, okay. That sucks. Crypt of the Damned, let's go. So now I need to get plus four health. Hey, there's plus one. Um, okay. All right, let's see what we can do. So, yep, we've got our usual default starting. Okay, aid from the ether, crackling air. You're gonna go here, favorite extra lift, let's go. Uh, favorite. Move up to here. Get the rest of your movement and do that. And turn. Great. Fantastic. Love to see it. Keep missing, please. Yep. Oh, actual damage. Right. You're summoning behind you. And you're done. Okay, and now you do Ride the Wind Freezing Nova. Uh, you do it in the other order. You're doing Fancy Hat Disorienting Barrage. Okay. Uh, add plus one. Right. I had to consume your potion. So you don't have a potion right now. Good. You killed the elite. Didn't kill the regular, but uh, you weren't going to kill the regular. You killed that one. Fantastic. Okay. Skeleton's going to need a little bit more work because it healed and shielded this turn, but that helps a lot. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven... Yep. Potion. Confirm. Great. Uh, you're gonna summon. Summon's a little unfortunate, but... Mana Bolt Impaling Eruption. You're gonna do... Uh, right. I need you to get back your favorite. Boom, you're gonna try to kill these two. Get a little unlucky on the skeleton. Pick up a little bit of extra money. Uh, you get to move to right here. Skip the rest of your movement, confirm. Because I need you to pick up your favorite again. I forgot. Well, I can do that now. Okay. 
I need you to kill this enemy. Uh, I need you to get your cards back. That sucks. All right, you short rest. Uh, power pitch, disorienting barrage, I believe is the play there. Okay. Moved here, skip, move in. in. Skip, skip. Almost one shot the Earth Demon, but not quite. Which is a shame, but what are you gonna do? Uh. Short rest. Alright. Get your cards back this turn. Uh, you are going to do... That. Because this should be a guaranteed kill. trying to get some extra money with the hatchet because he's going to need it. It's healed just in case. Get the cards back. And turn. Uh, you're doing those two. You're doing those two because I need you to make win this turn. Fire Orb Dread the Wind, you do Short Rest, it's fine. You're just picking up some money at this point. Alright, you should have more than enough for what you need to do. You're gonna go to here, skip the rest of that movement. And didn't draw any money too. It's great. Fantastic. We're done. Yeah, I think I had to add an extra round in there because that skeleton didn't die, but. It's clear that you in it. Turn to map. Alright. Claim rewards, unlock some stuff, come back to town. And split. Alright. Add. Where's a Barrett? You're a Barrett. Set up your cards. Uh. Barrent needs to buy a minor power potion. Minor power potion. Go to the temple. Bless the hatchet. Get a city encounter. Uh, attempt to catch the vase. Nice. Uh, swap trophy for merchant. Forgot to do that. Trophy needs to become merchant. Uh, yep. Travel to Ruinous Crypt. Okay. Uh, demand an explanation. Prosperity helps a little bit, so... Your mission is clear. This. All right. Uh, you're gonna do that one. Ooh, you're not going to do that one. And uh, whatever. Okay. 
So this one, this scenario has two different chests. Both chests have 15 gold in them. We need our Spellweaver to get one of them and the Hatchet to get the other one. Because uh, both of them need a lot of money throughout the run. So, A. Hey. Aid from the Ether, Crackling Air. You do... Oh, and we also start disarmed, so... I don't get to attack anything on the first turn. And if they decide to summon on the first turn, I am just restarting the scenario. Because it adds too much time. So, you go here. Let's try that again and hope they don't screw me up again. Great. Fantastic. Much better. Oh, except for the part where they're going before I get to put up my Retaliate. That part sucks. Alright. Uh, I'm going to move to here. And I'm going to put up this for the Cultists. I'm going to have you move to right... Uh, I think I just have you moved right here. Favorite. And turn. Yeah, unfortunately the cultists are healing one as well. Which isn't great for me. Oh, that would have been a better spot to be. That probably would have been a much better spot to be. Oh well. Uh, you summon there. I'm hoping this summon can make up a lot of the lost ground from not getting retaliates that turn. Alright. Fire orbs ride the wind. You uh, are right. Center mass disorienting barrage. And you are leaping cleave overwhelming assault. Oh, that's not good for me. That is, in fact, quite bad. Oh, the part where they're dealing one damage to their adjacent allies is nice. Um, okay. So, what do I do here? Uh, I... Kill... If I kill you, I need this brute to kill one of these two demons is part of my problem right now. Um, I kill you. Okay, let's take a lot of damage. This is gonna hurt. Um, and then end your turn. Uh, okay. The trap only does two damage, so I kind of need you to actually attack this cultist. Wait, no I don't. No I don't. Oh, but... Mm, that's a problem. Okay. You know what? Maybe this is greedy. Maybe this is what I need to do. Alright, that should count for my kill. Fantastic. That's exactly how I wanted that to happen. Alright, skeletons have lots of movement this turn, so I'm going to jump over here. 
And we're just going to take care of these three flame demons. That's why we use the potion, so we kill even on a minus two. And these two should line up nicely for an impaling eruption next turn. You, oh, and I can turn off that. Uh, you're doing follow through double throw, and you're doing balance measure skewer. Okay. Two. Hopefully we kill these. I didn't kill the elite, which is not great for me. But I got a treasure chest. One down. All right. You have one, two, three, four movement. Skip the push. Use the wind. Be able to get to, uh, I think, that's good enough. Skip the rest of that movement. Use your potion. Attack here and here. And use that there. Perfect. Good job. Yeah, I'll just take this damage. That's fine. You know, you do a move six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Kill that frost demon. Uh, you just need to kill that skeleton and you'll be good. You're going to do stopping power, fancy hat, and you're going to do a short rest and do overwhelming assault and trample. All right. Jump through all that. Skip the rest of the movement. Then turn. Pick up the chest. Uh, use that ice. Skip the rest of your movement. Uh, take the damage. You're not dead. One, two, three, four. Use the potion there. Perfect. And we're done. Yeah, that first... First two rounds were a little tough. Stay hydrated. Okay. All right, we're gonna drop a Baron. We're gonna keep the other two. Piety gets a plus name. We gotta take a town event. Unlock a couple of things. Go back to town. All right, I also had to reset that scenario, so. Uh -huh. uh, so, you leave the party, go to the temple, you buy a blessing, take a city encounter, you can't do anything with that one without a tinkerer, but uh, bad stuff would happen if we had picked the other option, and now we're going to Inox Encampment. Uh, run from the bear. Don't care about the perk points all that much, so losing the perk points isn't a big deal. So this merchant. Okay. Uh, wait. 
You do that. You do that. I don't know if we'll get these, but it doesn't matter too much. Again. Alright. Favorite extra lift. Made from the Aether Crackling Arrow. The, the usual start. Just gonna have a setup turn. Okay, uh, moving to, you're not moving at all, so, move to here, skip the rest of the movement, confirm the ability, and end your turn. You're gonna take a beating from some guards, unfortunately. That's... Actually, that's not too bad for positioning, because I can always just move a bunch. Um, alright. Have you actually summoned in this scenario? And turn. And now, Manable Fire Orbs. Fancy Hat Double Throw. Okay, that's good. Default move two straight up. I'm having you attack these three guards. Hmm, yeah. didn't quite kill one of them, which is unfortunate, but what are you gonna do? Add plus one attack to all my attacks this round. Double throw. Uh. Potion, attack, so guaranteed kill there, and a likely kill there, that's great, fantastic, taking a lot of damage, which is unfortunate, but uh, it's okay, freezing nova, no, hailing eruption, ride the wind, you are doing... those two cards you're attacking early that's bad for me burn a card uh let's burn follow through i guess we're gonna move to here we're gonna loot one I'm going to attack both of these. I'm not going to use the favorite. And hopefully my summon is just going to kill this. Yeah, okay. Good job, summon. You can now be dismissed. Jump into this doorway. Skip the rest. Do that and that. Use the potion. Really like to kill these. Good use of potion. Uh, you get your cards back, because you kind of need to this turn. I guess you could do it next turn. Uh, so. Oh, I can't quite heal you. That's a shame. I'm still going to heal to burn that card to get it back immediately. I need you to go over here. And you can skip the rest of your movement. Skip that push. Finish that one off. Great. Okay. Uh, um you're doing crackling air. Uh, 
I need you to do a short rest now. That's fine. Stopping power. Center mass. Okay. Why don't you just go here? Skip the rest of your movement. Okay, nothing... Something spawns right now, I can kill it, but... I don't think anything's going to. Guess these are just the cards I have to deal with. Uh, okay. Oh. Hmm. Huh. Didn't think that one through. Really didn't think that one through. Okay. That's a problem. Uh... Okay. It all worked out. Yikes. <laughs> Yikes. Alright, the next one, exact same characters. We just need to get another blessing for piety and another city event. Temple, bless the hatchet. Get a city encounter. Uh, that's not good. Um, uh, okay, where are we going? Frozen Hollow, right? Yeah, Frozen Hollow. You quick, you I uh, take the puppy back. Um, you can probably manage it better. I don't actually know that for certain, but we'll see. The map. Uh, yeah. Okay. okay, hopefully this one goes, uh, this one can go a little rough at the start as well. We'll see, hopefully we get good RNG here, basically. Uh, so, Manibolt, Impelling Eruption, you go here, we're doing extra lift, disorienting barrage, let's go. Use a potion. One, two, three, four. Okay. Good start. Go to the right. Yes. Good. Good. Uh, move to here. Confirm targets. I'm gonna just do a default melee attack because it hits harder. And I want to make sure I kill that hound. You can do Reviving Aether Crackling Air. Uh, you can do it? Fancy Hat Power Pitch. I'm going to use the potion here to guarantee this kill, because otherwise that enemy becomes a real pain in the butt. We're going to move down the room. 
We're gonna move down the room. Set up crackling air. You've got Fire Orbs Red the Wind, you've got the Favorite, and Double Throw, using Double Throw for default movement. That looks like it might be okay. Hard to say. You're going to move up one. Yes, okay, good. Two, three. Good. Right. Mostly pretty good. You do those. Actually. No. You do those and you're doing center mass stopping power. Yeah. Uh, I need to default move to here. Let's get the rest of that movement. Nice guaranteed kill here. Okay, yes, that's a long enough death animation. Thank you. Pushed back there. Get the kill. Excellent. I need you to short rest. Fine. I need you to do those two because I need you to move up. You're just going to move up and you're going to recover all your cards. And you're gonna go here. Firm. Okay, you are now doing. I guess I'll set up crackling air, but it probably doesn't matter. Uh, you're gonna short rest. That's fine. I need you to do double throw and. Say fancy hat. So you're just gonna step in here, double throw here and here, use the favorite there, hopefully, kill the hound. Good. That makes the next part easier. They didn't move, which is a little unfortunate, but manageable. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good. That's just far enough. Oh, they consumed my wind and turned it into not wind. Okay. Fire orbs ride the wind. You are doing center mass disorienting barrage. All right. Uh, let's do this first. Confirm. Go here. Confirm. Go here. Attack there. Get the kill. End turn. Come on. Yes, go all the way to the treasure chest, please. And pick it up. All right, and we're done. All right. Oh, good. Diamond Mind. Diamond Mind is next. Our one and only four character scenario. Generally speaking, you want fewer characters in your scenarios because that means fewer enemies you have to deal with. Yeah. 
You enter the abandoned tavern. You can eat you. Oh, 16, that's where I expect that to be. All right. Um, wow, I saved a lot of time on that one this time. Uh, okay. Adding Goliath, and we're adding pounds. We need to set up pounds cards, which is just this one swap. We need to go to the merchant. You need to buy boots of striding and a minor power potion. You need to equip them. Uh, I need to go to the Temple of the Great Oak. You need to buy a blessing. Uh, get the Gloomhaven Wolf 2. Uh, we're going to take a city encounter now. Uh, oh, I don't want that map because it costs me money. Um... Yeah, okay. Diamond mine. Let's go. <laughs> so, uh, the Cragheart here. The Cragheart here needs to kill 15 Vermlings. Uh, there are 10 Vermlings in this scenario when you play it with four characters. Plus, the boss can summon more. Uh, Uh, you, theirs doesn't matter because they're going to retire as soon as they're done. So, um, yeah, part of the reason you even take four characters in here is so that there are more wormlings to kill. And basically we're going to do a setup to kill all of them, uh, in one fell swoop pretty much. <coughs> Uh, you do favorite extra lift on the first turn? No, extra lift destroying King Barrage. My bad. You're doing Leaping Cleave, Shield Bash, Leaping Cleave, and you're doing Dirt Tornado backup ammunition. And starting there. Okay. You're going to move to there. You're going to do Impaling Eruption, use your potion. Get those four, and turn. Uh, you're gonna default move up to here, and hit these two. Use your potion. Looks good. The hounds are gonna attack now. They already have their targets because they're already next to people. Uh, I need you to move a little bit, so why don't you go to there? Confirm targets. Might as well use your potion to make sure you kill these, because I don't care about the damage you do anywhere else. And then finally, you move three to move up, and you put on backup ammunition, and we're done with this round. Uh, okay, you're doing Crackling Air, Aid from the Ether. You're doing the favorite, and I forget. Whatever. You're doing whatever, whatever. Uh, and you are doing Massive Boulder Avalanche. Is that right? Avalanche, Massive Boulder. Yep. Cool. You know what? Just give you all the money. Oh, other than... Hmm. Well, it doesn't matter too much this time. Uh, skip. Skip. And then you are doing a default move too with boots. All right, they've got to move to, oh boy, okay, this is going to be a little rough. Well, I don't think there's really anywhere I can go where I don't get 
murdered by the boss. Um, so just have to hope for the best. We got an add target here. And the way these deal damage, I'm guaranteed to kill all three of them, even if I draw as badly as possible. And we want to give them a little bit of time to move up. Oh, that hurt. <clears throat> so that they're more centrally located. Uh, okay. You're doing Ride the Wind Fire Orbs. You're doing Skewer Balance Measure to go attack the boss. I uh, skipped you. You're doing... What? Fancy Hat Power Pitch? Uh, oh, I like to do Stopping Power. And you are going to do Crater Rumbling Advance. Good. They have a lot of movement this turn, which is what you want to see. You have a clean path to the boss, so take it. And attack the boss. Uh, now you're going to get attacked by the boss for 9 damage. And the boss's attack value is equal to the number of vermlings that are currently still alive. Which is why that's doing so much damage. Move four here is good because it'll let them all come out. And it looks like the spot I want to stand is going to be right there. So one, two, three, four, five. Uh, yep, that looks good. Do a bunch of damage. End your turn. Uh, you are going to confirm action. You're going to jump to here. You're going to skip the rest of that movement. You're going to confirm that action. And you're going to heal yourself. Because you don't have range on the brute. And you get to just jump all the way to here. And yeah, you have disadvantage. Doesn't really matter too much. Not that I'm gonna finish this round, because in fact. Alright. Unstable upheaval, forceful storm. Yep. Add to all your attacks this round. Unstable upheaval. Attack six on everything within two spaces. All right. Uh, skip. Abandon quest. So the Cragheart successfully killed ten firmlings there. Uh, and the thing is, abandoning the quest and retrying the scenario still counts for the purposes of your battle goals or your personal quests. So. So now we're going to actually complete the scenario and do basically the exact same thing. Uh, extra lift, disorienting barrage, you stay in the back. You're doing shield bash, sleeping cleave, starting in the middle, and you're doing dirt tornado, backup ammunition, starting there. Uh, okay, they're just muddling this turn. That is A-OK -okay with me. That muddle does not matter. Especially when I killed three of the hounds right away. Well, you're not going to be in position for me to attack both of you. Ooh. Okay, that's fine. It's fine. Oh, I could have used my potion there. Probably should have. Turn. You move up to... Uh, I guess this spot, and you'll move more next turn. There, and use your... Oh, I meant to use my potion, but again, I don't think it matters too much. 
wouldn't have died to the potion anyways. Uh, Alright, you moved here. And do add target. Uh, you are going to do crackling air, aid from ether. You're going to do favorite and who cares. Sure, retrieval is fine. You're going to do, I want you to actually kill this hound. So you're going to do those. And you're going to do massive boulder avalanche. Uh, firm. I'm going to have you go here. Confirm. Take all that money. And turn. Mm -hmm. You get to be next to the door. Deal with the hound and default movement here. Remember to use the boots. Move to attack 10, so don't stand where I'm going to get hit by the boss. Oh, perfect. They have a move for loot one. That's exactly what I want to see. Move for jump loot one. Technically, I only need to kill five of these, and I just killed three of them. Um, so it should not be too difficult to uh, deal with them. One in the doorway is a little obnoxious, actually. Because uh, it means the brute can't get through very easily. I'll have to think about what I'm actually doing with the brute in that case. Ride the wind, fire orbs. Um, you're doing stopping power, power pitch. You're doing, I guess you're doing overwhelming assault trample. Two, three, four. Overwhelming, or trample skewer, I guess, is what you're doing. And you're doing crater... Uh, rumbling advance. That's fine. They're going to make a million attacks this turn, which is not ideal. Uh, actually, I don't need to do all that fancy footwork. Uh, they don't need to be immobilized. Uh, because they're not moving this turn anyways. Click that one, use both of these things, and attack for 10. Do 8 points of damage. Unfortunate. Alright. Uh, firm. Jump to... Guess here. Uh, skip the rest of that movement. Use the earth. Confirm. Heal someone. I just need you to heal to make that earth. Oh, that's the spot where I would have liked to stand. Okay, I guess you're not attacking the boss this turn. Uh... Go here. Confirm. We'll go ahead and use the wind and attack these two. It's okay if we kill a couple. That helps clear a path to the boss. Yeah, unfortunately, I have to sit through a million attacks here. Uh, 
And unfortunately, because they're actually dealing damage, I have to actually be here and hit the confirm damage button a bunch. Uh, those two aren't going to get caught in the storm anyways, so yeah, go there. Boom, boom, boom. End your turn. Your job is to get the chest. Your job is to... Fancy hat follow through. You are going to... Wall of Doom, Overwhelming Assault. And Unstable Heal, Forceful Storm. Uh, yeah. Add one to all your attacks this round. Attack two. Plus two if it's got the favorite. That seems good. Alright. Plus two to all your attacks this round. Use both of these. Okay. I don't care about getting money on you, and you just need to move on to this chest. Because that's the other thing I have to do to complete the scenario. Alright. Now we don't split here until we've actually finished retiring the crag heart. And we're going to do another boss scenario. Here's our first class unlock, the Lightning Bolt class, uh, aka Berserker. After a flu with an eye. All right. Oh, that went much better, apparently. All right. Uh, okay. So I drop Piety from the party, and I take a city event. Uh, oh, uh, I buy the Boots of Striding on you, and now I take a city event. Uh, help Captain load a ship. Get some money. Gloomhaven Square B. Yep. Alright, this is a long one. Unfortunately, uh, because we are in the middle of a battlefield um, and there's going to be a lot of enemies on the field and a lot of allies on the field. And we can mostly ignore all of that. Uh, we can mostly ignore all of that um, because basically they're all going to end up fighting each other and we can just mostly skip straight to the end uh, and fight the boss at the end. Because that's all that actually matters in this scenario is you have to kill the boss. You don't have to kill any of the other enemies. Um, that said, we kind of hope that a lot of enemies die. Um, so the Spellweaver is going to actually get to the part where we're killing the boss, but the Brute is just going to try to kill things. Um... And honestly, we don't care if it's our stuff or their stuff that dies. It doesn't actually matter. Uh, as long as enemies get off the board. Like that. And that. That's what we want to see. Uh, we don't like this long animation from the guards, because 
these guards are going to be basically useless for the rest of the scenario. Let's so open up this money. Alright, now you're going to do Fire Orb Drive the Wind, and you're going to do Grab and Go Warding Strength. <clears throat> All the things in this room are going to move and do nothing because they don't see anything to target. The waves of Egypt. And you can see there's a whole bunch of stuff going on in this room. And really the only things that we care about is the stuff that is directly in our way. In one way or another. And even that we don't care about too much because generally... We're going to have worse initiative than various enemies, or various allies of ours. So the random enemies are going to just move towards our allies, and we're just not going to have to deal with them. But we do have to sit through a whole bunch of attack animations. These archers are not... Terribly effective. This turn, at least. The archers can be pretty good. Um, but not this turn, it looks like. Looks like the corpses are hitting kind of hard this turn. Something died. Good for us. <laughs> okay, that guy's a little bit in the way, which is unfortunate. So one big difference between the board game and the digital game. Uh, if there is ambiguity about where the enemies want to move to, in the board game, the players get to decide how to resolve that ambiguity. Uh, in the digital game, it does it for you, and it does it kind of randomly, which is a little unfortunate, but also saves a lot of time having to not make those decisions, so I understand why they did it the way they did it. City guards are putting up another shield and attacking. <clears throat> Alright, that zombie dying there means we're going to see one zombie in the next room. We'll also see an elite archer in the next room. Uh don't think we're going to see any guards, because I don't think any guards are about to die here. Especially with some extra shields on. Oh, we're going to see two zombies in the next room? It's actually almost a little unfortunate. Two archers, though. Okay. Interesting. So, there's a limited number of each type of monster that can be on the field at a time. Um... And when you walk into this room for the first time, that's maxed out for the guards and the archers and the zombies. And so if you go into the next room before this room is completely cleared out, uh, it will affect what's actually spawns in this room here. Um, I need to remember to drop crackling air and then recover my cards. And turn, and now all of these get a turn. No, only one archer, I guess, spawns back here. I forgot. One archer, two guards, is what it is. Uh, oh, you know what? I bought the boots for you. I did not equip them. That's a shame. Uh, we're gonna go here.
Um, hopefully, I don't need to use them ever. Uh, do a short rest here. Get back Impaling Eruption because it has a move four. And then you also do a short rest because I need you to get back your card that makes wind. Just Leaping Cleave. And I don't really care what your other card is. Let's say it's Spare Dagger. Uh, and let's go. Okay. Good, you're going to be killing off some zombies. Again, we just want things to die. Because it makes the scenario take less time. We don't really care if it's... City guards, city archers, zombies, skeletons, cultists. Like, it does not matter. <laughs> oh, good. The cultists are summoning this turn. That's sarcasm, if you couldn't tell. Oh, no, I actually got attacked. Not for any damage, mind you, but... I did get attacked. Good. Another dead zombie. Alright. Um, you're gonna move to here. Thankfully those boots that I forgot to equip are not particularly important in this scenario. Uh, I basically know the... Root is not going to be able to keep pace with the Spellweaver. So the Spellweaver is in charge of actually killing the boss here. We're going to set that up. These enemies that were just summoned don't get to act this round, which is good for us. And now we're going to do Fire Orbs Ride the Wind. And you're going to do... Who cares? Uh, yeah, who cares? I'm... Not even going to spend time thinking about it. <clears throat> I'm mostly just moving the brute down the field on the off chance. If you draw very badly, like three turns in a row with the Spell Weaver, there's a chance you don't actually kill the boss. And then the Spellweaver gets exhausted, and then you have to bring the Brute in to provide backup. Um, and if that happens, you want the Brute to be close to the right position, if you can manage it. Uh, because otherwise, you definitely do not want to restart this scenario, given how long it takes. Another thing dead. It's always good. Alright. I am going to get attacked a couple times, unfortunately. Okay, good. No damage. No damage. Excellent. That's what you want to see. Then you're going to jump into the last room, put yourself in position here to be able to attack the boss here, who's going to summon more zombies, use the potion, try and clear out these zombies, and we're good. All right. Uh, all right. You do those two cards, you do, again, who cares? Uh, we hope we get l lucky on this attack and just kill the boss, but we have to draw a plus two to do that now because we drew badly last turn. But we got there anyways, excellent. Need to make sure to pick up this chest because we need this piece of equipment in here to sell later for money. So... 
Now we just have to sit through the rest of this round. I'm going to just skip the turn of the brute when we get to it. <coughs> But I don't think we're even going to be asked to make a decision on taking damage. Um, maybe from the zombies? No, they're not even getting up to the spell weaver. So no, we're just going to sit here. <coughs> Until we are allowed to end the scenario. Unfortunately, the guards got this long animation that they're going to play out. Oh, good. Those boots that I forgot to equip, I need to immediately sell after this. I probably should just skip getting the boots, honestly. Well, no, you still do want them on the off chance you do have to play back up. Okay. That's... Man, I hope I had the right Spellweaver in the party. That is a problem, a thing that I've done a couple of times. Anyways, we got some reputation from that, which is good. Okay, yeah, Merchant Class. That's who's supposed to be in that scenario. <coughs> Alright, uh, there's our split. And you. So now, we go to the Merchant... So, these boots of striding. Go back here. Uh, swap you out for a Barrent. We're going to go back to the merchant. We're going to buy back those. No. Wait. We don't. Oh, yeah. Buy boots of striding for a Barrent. For a Barrent. Uh, and we take a city event. Oh, and you need to be trophy hunt. Trophy hunt. City encounter. Uh, there we go. Got some money. Got another reputation. Uh, I still need one more reputation. So we'll be keeping an eye out for that. And then we go to Plane of Elemental Power. Okay. Uh, well, I don't have an option. But that's okay, because I didn't want to sell a minor stamina potion anyways. Alright. Uh, sure, sure. Okay. I tweaked some of the strats in this scenario this week, so we'll see how this one goes. So, important things to note about this scenario. Uh, both of these characters need to kill a sun demon in this scenario, because it's the only chance you get. And there are exactly two sun demons, so you need to make sure that they each kill one. Okay, you're going to move up. That's fine. You're going to move up to the other spot. That's also fine. That means I'm going to do this to you. And move to here. You're going to summon there. And consume air. All right, you're doing fire orbs ride the wind. You're doing spare dagger grab and go. Uh, do that before you move. All right, what are you guys doing? Move to and oh, you're both going after the spell weaver. That's fine then. You're all three going after the Spell Waver. 
Uh, okay. Just go to here then, I guess. Keep the rest of that movement. Mm, okay. Not punished. I was about to say that was probably a mistake, but I wasn't punished for it, so it's okay. You don't have anywhere better to use your boots in this scenario, so might as well use them here and jump all the way to this spot. So you can do this, this, and this. Good. Okay. And that's a guaranteed kill. And Sun Demon's gonna move up, attack you. That's fine. Uh, you're gonna do those two. You're gonna do these two. Uh, I think I do this. And just be prepared to reset the round if things have gone poorly. Skip the push, end your turn. You. This is a better attack, so let's do that. Perfect. Uh, move to here. End turn. Alright. Uh, you're doing those two cards. Uh, you're doing a short rest. It's fine. Whatever, Leaping Cleave. Let's do Grab and Go with Leaping Cleave. Just gonna move you up to the door. Uh, sure, loot one. Get that pile of gold. End your turn. Uh, I want you to move here. Burn these two. And then skip the rest of your movement and recover your burned cards. And turn. You're going to do Crackling Air, Aid from the Ether. You're doing Skewer Trample. Okay, Crackling Air. Uh Take that damage. I picked I picked the wrong card, so now I have to restart the round. I need that to be balanced measure. So that I one-shot that Sun Demon. Spellweaver killed the one in the previous room, so the Brute has to kill this one. So, Crackling Air, Aid from the Aether, you do Skewer, Balance, Measure. Let's go. You... why? I don't know why that didn't take. I swear I clicked on the Wind Element. Didn't take. Try this again. Alright. Uh, crackling air, aid from the ether. You're doing skewer balance measure. Crackling air. Thank you. Actually consume the element, please. And skip the rest of your turn. Go here. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six seven eight take that one damage there and guaranteed kill on this sun demon <laughs> uh okay fire orbs ride the wind you're gonna do overwhelming assault trample <clears throat> All right, you're going to take a little bit of damage from some explosions. 
Uh, is there a spot where you're going to stand to hit all three of them? No. Okay. Well, that's a little unfortunate. Um... That'll just add on an extra round, unfortunately. Uh, yeah, because this... No, wait, this spot works. This spot right here. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. Okay, no party changes, take another city event. Honestly, surprised I'm this far ahead while having to do all these city events, because I'm pretty sure I got my uh, reputation much earlier in my previous runs. But that's just some amount of RNG. Go back to Gloomhaven. going to Mountain Pass. We're going to retire this brute. We should now have... Uh, why do you have four and a six? Oh, you didn't actually kill either of those Earth Demons. That's fine. That's okay. Uh, that's okay. City Encounter. Uh... Uh, can't do anything with that particular city event. All right, mountain pass. So the reason that's okay <coughs> is that it's pretty likely that I will kill an earth demon here. Uh, red birds, we leave alone. Do not shoot the red birds. Red birds and red berries are bad. White birds and green berries are good. Uh, actually, oh, you probably won't get that one either, so it doesn't matter. It does not matter. Mountain Pass. So, elite wind demons. Wind demons suck, by the way. Um, which is a little unfortunate. Because there are a couple of them that we have to deal with in this scenario. So you are doing Impaling Eruption Crackling Air. You're doing uh, Wall of Doom Shield? No. Wall of Doom Leaping Cleave. That's right. I remember. Okay. They're going to move up and make traps. That could be good for us, depending. Um... We might be able to abuse that here in a minute. Uh, but first, I'm just going to go stand in between the two Earth Demons, let them attack me, but have a shield one and a... a or a shield two, retaliate two, set up. They're going to attack the Brute, because the Brute has better initiative. And they're going to take a little bit of damage for their trouble. Of course, they're going to draw well, and I'm also going to take some damage for my trouble, but that's okay. So we're going to use Fire Orbs to attack these three enemies, and also uh, Reviving Aether to jump over them if necessary. Uh, so you are going to attack here. And again, okay, I'll finish you off with Trample now. Oh good, the archers are being idiots and walking into their own traps. You love to see it. Uh, jump to here first because I can break disadvantage. 
If you make a melee attack while you're next, or a ranged attack while you're next to your target, you have disadvantage on the attack. You get to hit me. All right. You are doing freezing Nova Red Wind. You are doing shield bash trample. Uh, I could probably substitute um, grab and go here, but let's just get this over with. One, two, three, four. Great. And now you are going to move into the next room. With the and that means I've now killed a an earth demon with that brute, which was a necessary thing to do during this scenario. Okay, this wind demon's gonna attack me. Yep. Does kind of a lot of damage, but you're also going to attack. But I'm gonna get to heal some next turn uh all right um and you're doing skewer balance measure your job is to kill that wind demon okay you know what let's do this attack so that i can heal <clears throat> take a little bit more damage get pulled one that's okay uh you this plus boots we're gonna just walk right through this trap but we're gonna move eight hexes take a little bit of damage from that trap and get a guaranteed kill on this wind demon and now this brute has killed six types of demons and will retire at the end of this scenario uh, you short rest this is the turn where i need you to get your cards back um, right, yeah, yeah, get your cards back this turn, and you are doing these two cards, because there's an earth demon immediately on the other side of this door, uh, heal, recover cards, End turn. Pick up some money. Move four. Attack six. Since I haven't used it already, we'll... Actually, no. I'll save the potion for the wind demon. Hopefully that's not a mistake. We'll find out soon enough. Drawing the minus one there is a little unfortunate, but... Oh, you went invisible! That's super unfortunate. All right. So I need you to do Fire Orb, Dread the Wind. And I need you to, I guess, stall. Uh, and do Leaping Cleave, Shield Bash. Okay. That's fine. Not great, but it's fine. Not great because... I'm in danger of dying with this uh, demon. Okay. I would like to use Shield Bash on the Wind Demon. Okay. I'll take it. I'll take it. It's fine. Uh, you're going to go here. just have to kill this this turn dead dead okay you can get a little bit of money although you don't need it so I don't know why I did that what do you <coughs> All right, and we should retire that brute here. Uh, turn 
with Gloomhaven. Yep, 10 out of 20. Yep, that's where I'm supposed to be according to my notes. And 6 out of 6. And we've unlocked our second class, the Triangle class, or the Upside Down, down Triforce, or uh, the Elementalist. Okay, uh, we are going to add Piety to the party. We are going to... Uh, I'm going to go ahead and go to the temple. Bless you get a bit of a head start on your blessings uh right yeah take another city encounter because i still need plus one reputation perfect that's what we needed we now can stop taking city encounters um and we're going to temple the elements Uh, let's just be poisoned. <coughs> As opposed to having to discard cards, which takes extra time at the start of the scenario. You... I don't think I'm going to take so much damage here that I'm going to be in danger of, um, of dying from that poison. All right, now I need to pay attention to whether or not I actually kill the Frost Demon in this scenario. It's very important for later on in the run. <coughs> first, first turn, Aid from the Aether Crackling Air, you're doing Fancy Hat, Double Throw. Uh, yep. Just trying to kill these two cultists on the first turn. Uh, and I... I need to start in the front or else I'm not going to have enough movement. Um, Yeah. Need to remember to actually start both characters in the front row here. It's fine. So, go there. Uh, I said, aid from the ether, crackling air. Fancy hat, double throw, you go there. Okay. Plus one attack to my attacks this round. Uh, double throw, potion, attack both. Hopefully kill both. Great. Fantastic. Done. You're going to move two. Uh, Alright, you've got Ride the Wind Fire Orbs. You've got the favorite extra lift. One, two, three, four. Move two, attack two. Okay. So this cultist is going to come up and attack me for a little bit, uh, but that's okay. Uh, receive damage. Alright. You are going over to this room. So the goal of this scenario is to kill these four altars in the four side rooms. Um... Each one is buffing the demons as well. So the demons actually hit extra hard right now. Uh, which means this earth demon is going to hit like a truck. Yeah, attack six. We're going to take it and we're going to run the heck away. Uh, it's Yeah, it's those two cards and you're doing... Center mass. Uh, power punch. 
do stopping power of power damage. Okay. Those skeletons could be a little bit obnoxious, but it's okay. Um, let's... I don't need to use up any elements here. But I'll go ahead and... Do that. Uh, I like to use the boots on this turn. To get further away from that earth demon so it can't uh, accidentally catch up. Default movement get into here. Just close enough. Oh, perfect. The, um, flame demon is not attacking this turn. <coughs> Just creating a trap that's not actually going to be in my way. Now, are you going to be a pain in the butt? Yes, you are. That's a problem. That's big old problem. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two, three. Yeah, you don't have enough movement to get into place now. Uh, let's use your cards in the other order and see if you can get lucky. Skeletons or the cultists move out of the position. Nope, they moved into a worse position. Uh, but they were going to do that whichever order I picked those cards in, so it doesn't actually matter that much. Okay. Well, the good news is... The good news is that that will give me a chance to kill this Frost Demon. Uh, ow. And you're going to back up and attack me? Ow. And wound me? Uh, okay. Um, so I'm going to move into the doorway. Uh, skip the rest of the movement. Do this push. Push you to over here. And then... Uh, you know what? Let's not attack that cultist, because it's going to explode when it dies this turn. I should have attacked before I moved. Uh-oh. Um, okay. We're going to burn this one and that one. Oh. I'm not killing that frost demon. Because if I short rest here, I die. Well. Uh, okay. Short rest. Uh, center mass, destroy ranking barrage. Let's try this again. Alright, this should work this time. So I did not kill that frost demon. That is important to know. Uh, and I'm gonna have to throw out cards. Like, nobody's business to not die here. Uh, use that, get a guaranteed kill on the altar. As long as the hatchet lives through this turn, we are golden. Burn a card. Check. I can survive two more attacks. Which, I don't think anything else is going to get to me to attack me this turn, so we're good. Okay. So. Trophy, the Spellweaver here, needs to go 20 different types of enemies throughout the entire campaign to retire. Um, missing this one here. So... The route that I take has them kill 21 types. So missing this one here means I can't miss any others for the rest of the campaign. Um, but it does it does allow for a little bit of wiggle room that way. Um, huh. 
Uh, uh, right, so you didn't kill any new uh, enemies. Okay. Uh, echo Chamber is where I'm going next. Echo Chamber is the same party, right? Yep. Um, you buy a blessing. Echo chamber. Let's go. Mm hmm. Uh, green berries. Green berries are good. Okay. Echo chamber is kind of a fun one. Um, this is another one where we don't actually need to kill all the enemies. Uh, our goal here is to open every door on the map. <clears throat> so we're going to use some overpowered movement to do that in... Uh, we're basically going to clear out the first room and set up some stuff. And then open every door on the map in like two turns. Okay, so you're going to start here and do Aid from the Ether Crackling Air. You're going to start here and do Fancy Hat Double Throw. Let's go. Alright, oozes are splitting. That's actually good news for us. You guys shielding up is a little bit obnoxious, but... Alright. Add one to all your attacks this round. Double throw. I'm going to attack you and you. Um. And I am actually going to do this summon. Mostly acts as a meat shield slash distraction in this scenario. Uh, but maybe it'll get a little bit of damage in, too, which is nice. Uh, Alright, you're doing Fire Orbs and Paling Eruption, because I need you to move up to the door. You're doing Extra Lift Center Mass. Uh, oh, they're splitting again this turn. Interesting. Um, here, let's... What are you doing? Move. Yeah. Let's deal with you. I could have attacked a an undamaged Drake. All right, that summon's probably dying here before it gets a chance to attack, which is a shame. Oh yeah, they're strengthened this turn too. Yep, dead summon. Alright. Uh... <laughs> Can I, from here... Actually, yeah. One, two, three. Use the potion. Uh... <coughs> Good. Alright. We're good to go on there. Last enemy dies here. And you're gonna do... Reviving Aether Ride the Wind. You're gonna do... A short rest to get back... Fancy hat and do fancy hat disorienting barrage. And you start with hats movement. And let's start opening doors with a complete disregard for what's actually happening around us. Uh, we're only killing like one more enemy this turn. Or this scenario. 
Sorry, I meant to click there. Skip that ability. Gotta make sure you get both halves of this double door. Uh, skip the rest of that movement. Oh, right. We killed that guy. Um, which is fine. Oh, good. If I go here, I'm fairly safe. Well, not as safe as I'd like. Then again, the hatchet doesn't actually need to live through this turn. And also has a shield too, so I'm not too worried about it. Oh, you can reach. Hmm. That's a problem. It's not a big problem, but it is a problem. Okay. <clears throat> All right, move eight, jump, so I can open this door, and go here and open this door, or not open this door this turn, but get back your burned card so that you can move eight, jump again next turn. Do Manable Ride the Wind, you're doing who cares at all, um, I guess... This and that. Pick up some money. Sure. Uh, so you are in range right now. Let's just take care of this. Uh, and that should be a guaranteed kill. And that was an additional type of monster. So that's why I needed to make sure to kill that. Got the three types of monsters that exist in the scenario. It can even come and uh, over here. Now, now we start throwing out cards to make sure someone survives this scenario. Because all we have to do is have one person live. that pick up that money living spirits are just cursing this turn so they're not even attacking oozes in that room I don't have to worry about this ooze I have to worry about oh good you didn't even kill I think we're done that's the scenario Apparently lost some time on that one. Oh, I lost some time in Temple of the Elements. Thirteen... Yeah. Swap trophy for merchant. I keep forgetting to do that. And then add Goliath. Uh, Goliath needs to buy the Boots of Striding. You. You need to go to the temple and get a blessing. And we're going to Gloomhaven Battlements B, right? Yep. Uh... Okay, let's go. Okay, uh... You'll get that, you'll get that. You don't matter, because... Uh, spoilers, we're going to retire that brute after this scenario. Uh, that brute's personal quest is complete four boss scenarios. This will be our fourth and final boss scenario for the entire run.
There's something else later on in the run that's going to seem like a boss, but is technically not a boss. Alright, right. uh, you are starting here. You're doing aid from the... No, you're doing crackling air, aid from the ether. You are starting here and are doing extra left favorite. You are starting there and doing that and that. So, this scenario... All you have to do is defeat the boss, but the boss doesn't appear until this door is destroyed. So what we're going to do is get out of the way and not basically ignore all of the enemies and hope they kill this door quickly. That is currently our plan. Uh, the hatchet is going to use this time to walk over here and get this chest because it has an item that he can sell later. Uh, and everyone else is going to use the first turn to set up, and is going to go late on the second turn and hope the door is destroyed by then. We'll see. This doesn't actually bode well for getting it destroyed on the second round. Oh, the Earth Demon Elite is going to be able to attack at this turn. Okay, that's good. You'd want, like, the flame demons to also attack it, but they didn't have movement. Wait. Oh, the stupid archers immobilized the... Okay. Well, that's not great. Fancy hat retrieval, and you're doing grab-and-go overwhelming assault. Maybe we'll get lucky this turn. Maybe he won't spawn until next turn. We'll see. So we're going to go here, skip the rest of the movement, and loot this chest. Uh, then we're gonna take this, just for some top half movement, skip the rest of the movement, put on the shield, and end your turn. Okay, good. Well, could've been better, but could've been worse. You couldn't get in range, so you're gonna attack one of the archers. You didn't actually deal any damage, you jerk. Yeah. Door's not getting broken down this turn. Let's try again this turn. Uh, balance measure skewer. <coughs> oh, the ice demon's not attacking. That sucks. Flame demons aren't actually dealing any damage, which also sucks. Wind demon, because there's earth, doesn't have enough range. And you have to do nothing this turn. You have to do nothing this turn. Kill it. Thank you. All right. Got a little bit unlucky there. On average, I feel like they kill it on round two, which lets you unload on round two and round three. Um, potion. Boom, boom, boom. Now I'm trying to clean up the enemies in the background so that they don't kill me. Uh, don't need to move. All right. You... I don't need to rest here, so you just use those cards. You, I want to short rest to get back all the good cards back. Uh, and you're going to do skewer balance measure this turn. I want you to short rest. Uh, dang. Well, what's my best attack now? I guess I'm going to do center mass double throw. And 
turn. I might not kill the demon this turn either because I had to burn um, power pitch. And therefore, I don't get to do an attack 18 or attack 20 instead of the potion. Boom, boom, boom. This will merely be an attack 14. Uh, I could get lucky. Oh, I forgot to equip the boots! Uh, forgot to equip the boots, so I won't get lucky. All right. Yeah, at this point, I want you guys to kill things. It's a shame neither of them wanted to target the uh, prime demon, because they could have easily killed it. That's fine. Uh, best initiative, best attack. You're gonna do... Best initiative, best attack. Uh, best initiative, best attack. Um, actually, all these attacks are equally good, so you're just going to do that. Uh, nope. I mean, both of those are guaranteed kills, so it doesn't really matter. I'll confirm that I won't die. Now we just have to wait for all of these demons and archers to go. <clears throat> and turn. Frost Demon's gonna move. Uh, Frost Demon's gonna get a hit in. Earth Demon's gonna move. Nope, Earth Demon's not gonna move. <clears throat> Alright. Another one bites the dust. Alright. Who's ready for a escort quest? So that's what we've got next. Oh, but first, we've got to unlock two characters. Now, it's this retirement. <coughs> hmm. Excuse me. Mm -hmm. Good, good, good. Okay, yes, we now have our plus 10 reputation, which is what unlocks this class, the Sun, or uh, as it's formerly known, the Sun Keeper. And now we split. Okay. Uh, swap piety for fall. Set up false cards. Um, and go to the merchant. You need to buy a minor power potion and boots of striding. You need to remember to equip them. Uh, and travel to Forgotten Crypt. You want what I did? I... <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, green berries. Green berries are good. 
We like green berries. Alright. After a day's journey. Yeah. Uh I don't know that either of them is going to get either of those. I don't know that it matters at this point. Um, I should. I'm at the point. I'm late enough in this run that I should stop paying attention to those because I don't think they're going to matter anymore. All right. Age from the ether, crackling air, skewer, leaping cleave. Got it. Shouldn't have, uh... All right. So skewer, leaping cleave. Uh, start here. Aid from the ether, crackling air. Okay. That's fine. That puts them in a reasonable position. So, Hale, who is our escortee, starts... Uh, let's get the rest of that movement. Starts 20 spaces from their destination and moves exactly two spaces every turn. Um, which means this is going to take a minimum of 10 rounds as long as we make sure nothing gets in her way. Now, she can move through us but can't end in the same space as us. Uh, so we need to pay attention to where she's going to go. Um, and you're doing grab and go spare dagger, right? Yep. Uh... But as long as we're paying attention, it should not be a problem. We're going to go here. We're going to use fire orbs. Guaranteed kill from the two living spirits, which is nice. And we even got the skeleton as a bonus. All right. You're going to move four. Go to there. Hell's going to move up to here. All right. You're going to ride the wind and whatever. You're going to... Uh, you do whatever. I'm trying to keep, I think, trample and balance measure. So I think I want to use the other cards. If I remember how this works correctly. Hopefully I do. Yeah, you're just going to go there. Skip the push. Skip that. End your turn. You're going to just move there. Actually, let's move you there. Loot. Yeah, we're basically just stalling here to give Hale time to catch up. You're just going to... Both of my characters are going to end next to the door this turn. You short rest. That's fine. You're going to impaling eruption, reviving ether. You are going to trample balance measure. Let's go. There is no... All right. I want to make sure I don't end here. I think I want to end up here. Uh, skip the rest of the movement. We're not using the potion yet. We're saving that for the last room. Hey, you know what? Perfect. Makes it easy. Love to see it. And now, that's the other thing. is As you go through here, uh, other enemies will spawn along the way. Might as well use your boots. Because you're just about to long rest. Um, which is why you kind of want to wait for Ale. Uh, all right. What are you doing? Bye. Right. Aid from the ether. Who cares? Uh, and you are long resting. Uh, I'm going to summon you to be a distraction to the enemies that are going to spawn behind us. Uh, you're going to heal yourself. Uh, ditch Wall of Doom. You're going to end turn. Okay. 
you're going to short rest. Uh, do both of these. And you're going to... Uh, what are you doing? Scroll... Overwhelming Assault Spare Dagger. That's right. Overwhelming Assault Spare Dagger. They're going to move a little bit. Who cares? All right. I believe you use your boots here as well. Get to this spot. And then push you through these two traps. No. Oh. You're going the wrong way, buddy. <laughs> All right. Uh, I get to actually do this and move up and skip the rest. Then regain all your burned cards, and that's okay. Alright. You're doing... Crackling Air... Freezing Nova, I guess? No, you're doing Fire Orbs Crackling Air. Uh, you're doing Warding Strength Leaping Cleave, although I don't need to do the Leaping Cleave. Um, you're gonna go here, you're gonna attack there, and see that's okay because there's still this trap left here. Uh, excuse me? I need that, I need that living corpse to die. I don't know why that push didn't push. Pretty sure I double clicked on the trap space. But I guess the game disagreed. Okay. Fire orbs crackling air, you're doing uh warning strength, sleeping cleave. Okay. Because it's a push two, so I should be able to push into this trap. There we go. And that'll take care of that enemy. The cultists is summoning, which is only annoying in that it means that there's going to be more turns on the enemy side. Uh, Alright. You get to do this. And move on to this coin. <coughs> Round eight, this is round nine. Uh, you're doing Impaling Eruption, Ride the Wind. You're going to do Balanced Measure Skewer. Okay, they're not even attacking this turn, which is great. The cultists are summoning, so I really hope that I kill all the cultists that are in the next room with my initial attack. We'll see. Uh, move 8, jump. Puts me all the way back here on this chest, which I need to pick up. Use the potion, attack all four enemies. Perfect. Right, I think the... I think the cultists were actually guaranteed kills. Uh, all right. Um, nothing else matters, so go and get some gold. Yeah, go here, get some gold. <laughs> uh, oh, you don't... Okay. You're just going to get another one pile of gold, and you're going to get three piles. Get some money. <coughs> mm, 
Excuse me. Oh no. My summon died. It was just there to distract the enemies behind us. And you know what? It did that job fantastically. Loot one. End turn. And we're done. Scenario complete. Because, yeah, all we had to do was get hail next to that altar at the end. Alright. Oh, Decrepit Wood is one of my least favorites. <coughs> and this is the spot where I need to pay attention to what the Spell Weaver kills. Mm hmm. Okay. Uh, you need to be trophy. And do I do anything else? I don't think so. Travel to Decrepit Wood. Redbirds. Let them be. So the, the brute that is currently in our party, uh, their personal quest is to complete two uh, objectives, two scenarios that are in this section of the map called Lingering Swamp, uh, which that previous one is, and this one is. And then after that happens, they're going to unlock a chain of two scenarios that have to also be completed in order to retire this character. So um, basically you have to do four, character, four scenarios in order to complete this quest. Uh, no matter which way you slice it. A big part of the routing of this game is figuring out, uh, or of this run specifically, is figuring out uh, stuff like that. Um, I think that's better. I don't remember. Okay. Interesting. Uh... Am I going to use the boots here? I don't need to, but I want to to do more damage. Five. Five movement. So, Harrower Infestors are the worst, because they can heal uh, somewhat reliably. Summon in front of me. Alright, you're doing fire or you're doing manifold fire orbs. Uh, because I want you to go fast. And you're doing spare dagger warding strength. I can also put up shields like that. With ranged retaliates, it's gonna kill off my summon right away. At least it got some damage in before it died. Uh okay. Uh let's go here absolutely need you to kill this one and this one and i want you to try to kill that one at least try to damage it and yeah you'll take a retaliate that's okay end your turn you are going to man Yeah, I'm gonna have you attack here. That sucks. Uh, push. Still close enough for the retaliate, huh? All right, this has not gone well so far. So I am modifying the plan slightly. Okay. That's good news for me. Uh, I need you to move to... I need you to move to here. I don't want to use... I'm gonna risk it. Okay. I don't want to actually burn Shield Bash there if I can help it. Go here. One, two, three. Four, yep. Uh, don't use the potion yet. 
Nice. Plus twos on everything. Okay. You still need to kill a harrower. That's the thing that I have to look out for. Alright. Have you used those cards in that order? Uh... Dang, you didn't move. You didn't move. Um. Yeah, I mean, we just go here. Skip the rest of that movement. I'm going to restart that and actually use the potion. I, I actually think that's worth restarting for it. Because, like I said, they can heal. And if they heal before I get a chance to attack them, they go fast, too. So, they probably do whatever it is they're doing before I get a chance to attack them. Um, then I'm in a lot of trouble. Uh, Alright, you... Good. Uh, I guess you go here. If that happens the same way. Oh, that happens slightly differently. Okay, that's a problem. Can't do that. Need to stay further back. That's fine. I don't... I don't need to move up with the Spell Weaver. There's no reason to move up with the Spell Weaver. <clears throat> uh, okay. Uh, Um, if I go here, if I go there, you won't move. Oh, but the other one will, and I'll get attacked twice. Alright, fine, don't move. Don't move at all. Just don't move. Yeah, this scenario kind of sucks, because heroin festers suck. Um, and we're going to remember to use the potion this time. Through the power of cheating, we know that that's going to kill. Uh, you need to short rest. Can't lose that one. Uh, play those two cards. Skewer trample is good here. Yeah, see, they're healing. Healing before I get a chance to even go. That's a problem. It's a problem I can't do much about, but it is still a problem nonetheless. Alright. All right, gotta hope they don't heal again next turn. Um, do mana bolt, do, who cares? Short rest, that's fine. I want you to go early and I want you to use spare dagger to double attack, okay. Uh. Okay, that took care of two things at once. Uh, I needed you 
I needed the spell weaver to actually kill an enemy, uh, a harrower, and I needed that harrower to die. So skewer, balanced measure is what we're doing here. One, two, three, four, two, three, four, five, six. When I'll end on this chest having moved the full six spaces. So I can get a good attack in. Oh, he's just gonna heal all of it. You jerk. Yeah, I hate harrowers. I hate them. Absolutely despise them. Alright. If you use boots, you don't even need to burn ride the wind. Um, I, I am going to attack the harrower. Uh, I don't want a short rest here. That's fine. Heal bash, spare dagger. My god, they're healing again! Oh, I'm gonna stun them this turn. And attack twice. He had to muddle me, too. Uh... Let's go here, and then I can do back those two. Great. And we should finish it off this turn. It's fine. Do whatever. Do whatever. Hey, you got another kill. Great. Yeah, I'm not surprised I lost some time there. Not surprised at all. Alright. Fading Lighthouse. <laughs> We're taking the spell we were out of the party. We're putting Piety the Hatchet in. Piety's going to get a blessing. Uh, you become you, uh, real quick, yeah. So this is the last blessing you're getting, um, which I think means I'm gonna go put on this tower shield. I'm also going to take that perk, uh, And we're going to go to Fading Lookout. <coughs> uh, help. Hey, an extra reputation. That's actually really nice because that makes... That puts us over a threshold for shop discounts. Um, which makes retiring the merchant class character a lot easier. Uh, I don't care... I need to stop looking at those. They do not matter anymore. We're only completing two more scenarios. This one and the next one. And then there's two scenarios after that that we're going to just bail out of. So. This is Fading Lighthouse. Our goal is to loot the four chests uh right i'm not setting up the favorite i'm doing extra lift center mass you are starting here doing skewer balance measure but not in the way you might normally think um yep so the weird thing about this particular scenario is that only half of the enemies actually exist on any given turn um 
Uh, you go there, I guess. Oh, they're splitting. Confirm targets. If they're splitting, then I want to attack you. Um, so on the odd number rounds, the snakes and the oozes exist, and on the even number rounds, the, uh, the frost demons and the flame demons exist. Move all the way up there, and turn. So, like, the fact that the oozes just blocked the doorway there doesn't actually matter, because we're just going to walk right through them like they weren't even there. Uh, you're doing that. <laughs> and you're doing... This one, it's very particular about what my movement is. Uh, because I need to have specific amounts of movement to actually get through everything. So you're going to pack these two demons just to muddle them. I don't actually care about dealing damage, because again, our goal is not to kill the enemies. And you're going to move to there. Yeah, see, I took a lot less damage there, because I muddle the enemy. You can go to there. And the other important thing to know about these chests is you must use a loot action to collect them. You can't just end your turn on them like you normally could. <coughs> Alright, so. Favorite and double throw. There's also these traps along the way, which... Oh! These traps just deal damage. Huh. Okay. I thought they stunned. Uh, but apparently I'm wrong. Leaping Cleave. Spare Dagger, Leaping Cleave. Alright. Skip that. Go all the way forward. And we're going to double throw using the potion. Uh... These two snakes, I think it is. Uh, yeah. We're going to use boots. Oh, I should have attacked the other two snakes because now I don't have range to hit this last snake. And it would have been nice to kill all the snakes. Uh, okay, the follow through retrieval. Yeah, and you're doing a short rest. That's fine to do overwhelming assault, grab and go. Ow. Oh, I forgot to use the shield. Yeah, it's fine. Alright, so you get two move fours here. Wait. Hey, yeah. One, two, three, four. Skip the push. One, two, three, four. Cross difficult terrain. Uh, you're gonna move to here, push you just out of the way, and then loot. That's the second of four chests, here's the third, and the fourth one is in the last room. Uh, alright, you are doing stopping power, power pitch. You're doing warding strength skewer. Uh, 
one, two, three, four, five, six, I think is good enough. Yeah, that's good enough. And you are jumping over this trap. Reach the board center. Excuse me. Go in here. And killing the zoos. Fantastic. Hopefully they're not immobilizing this turn. They're not. Ow. You're actually getting to hit me. Not cool. Okay. That doesn't matter. That doesn't matter. Alright. You short rest. That's fine. Fancy hat retrieval. You uh, short rest because you need grab and go back. Leaping cleave, grab and go. And we should finish it off this turn. Just gotta wait for all the demons to go. I still forgot to use the shield, but that's okay. Uh, skip movement, do the loot. End your turn. Jump to here. Do the loot. And your turn. <laughs> and we're done. You grab the last book and then smash the you can what what you do. Okay. Okay. Next up is Pit of Souls, and this is one of the rare scenarios where we are choosing to add a character that doesn't actually need to be here whatsoever because it actually speeds up the scenario. Um, just because you you have to kill... Uh, oh, I gotta go back to Gloomhaven. You have to kill 10 skeletons. And uh, they spawn to a turn. And the thing is, with uh, three characters, you can actually keep up with those spawns and kill them as they come. Um, but with two characters, you cannot. So we're going to bring in Trophy. Uh, and we're going to go immediately back there. The Pit of Souls. And this is also where if you needed another blessing... Uh, Help the humans fight off the audience. I've been cursed. Oh no. It takes you. All right. As you be. Uh, but stop looking at. Stop looking at battle wolves. They do not matter, especially not for piety. Not for any of these characters. I don't think the uh, trophy has to go through a few more scenarios, but uh, the other ones don't. Uh, okay. So you, favorite extra lift. You start here. Uh, it's spare dagger, overwhelming assault, and you there are doing right. Age from the ether, crackling air. Okay. That looks fine. We're gonna move to here. Is it there? Yeah, I think it's there. Confirm targets. Uh set up the favorite. You oh, don't use the boots. You go to here. <coughs> Skip the rest of your movement. Push this guy to there. Throw a dagger. One skeleton down. <coughs> Ooh, that's a lot of damage. Okay. 
Hmm. Oh, okay. They moved nicely. And nice-ish. No, I, I can definitely work with that. Okay. Uh, okay. So you are doing. What are you doing? Oh, right. You're doing center mass disorienting barrage. You're doing uh, warding strength shield bash for the initiative, and you're doing uh, manable fire orbs. Yep. Had it right. Okay. Oh, they're healing. That's obnoxious. Uh, but they aren't healing until after most of my characters have gone, so that's okay. So you move to here, and that's where you're going to stay for the rest of the scenario. So you're going to do that, that, and that. Since they're healing this turn, I'll use the potion. Hmm. Mildly unfortunate, but what are you going to do? You are um, moving to here and then attacking like so. I moved there just so I could push him into the trap if I needed to. Yeah, the heal is a little bit obnoxious, but all right. You are going to get a guaranteed kill here by pouring everything into it. Good, good. Good job on the guaranteed kill. Uh, let's put a point of damage on this skeleton. Uh, defeat all of those and come back and get your favorite. All right, and you're now doing follow through retrieval. Uh, you're doing, this is where you skewer balance measure, right? Yep. And you're doing freezing Nova, reviving ether. Good job summon. Let's hear it for the summon. Alright, heal yourself. Get your cards back. And your turn. Alright, goodbye summon. Nice while it lasted. Uh, all right, balance measure. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Five, six. Five, six. Let's do that one. Okay. And then you are attacking. You are moving up here first. Skip the rest of your movement. And now you're attacking there. End turn. Seven skeletons down. Let's get the rest of them this turn. You're going to do that. Uh, you're doing a short rest to get back overwhelming assault doing that in trample and you're doing fire orbs uh, freezing nova fire orbs oh, they're shielding this turn that sucks that sucks a lot it also means they're not moving to be more conveniently placed to, to each other and i used my potion already on this bell weaver all right we might have to go another round. Oh, maybe not. Oh, maybe. Uh, heal. Looking like gonna have to go another round. 
Why well, use my boots? Let's try to get lucky. Actually, wait. Let's do this intelligently. All right. Um, skip the rest of the movement. We're just going to kill this one. Because I can't kill both this turn anyways. Then turn. You short rest. Okay. You try again with those. You're going to go as early as you can. And try to kill that one remaining skeleton. Alright. Move here. Alright. Hungry Soul gets a turn. That's okay. Just gonna take all the damage at this point. Does not matter. Uh, Alright. Double. Power pitch. Done. Yep. Had to do an extra round, so I lost some time there. As expected. Okay, Shrine of the Depths is where I am implementing some new strategy, which is I'm leveling up the Brute to level 3. <coughs> so I think their level 3 cards will make those more consistent. Yep. Mm hmm. We unlock Eclipse here, also known as the Night Shroud. Alright, uh, so you become you, and you are going to level up. Uh, yep. Fatal Advance, uh, level up. Okay, chain. Uh, Alright, so you're getting rid of that and that and uh, provoking war, grab and go, and warding strength. Yep, for this, this, this. Nope, not that one. Those four. Alright. Then you also go to the shop. You're going to buy boots of striding. You're going to buy a minor power potion. You're going to Equip them. You're gonna take two perks. You're gonna take a perk. Uh, and we're going to Shrine of the Depths. You did so no need to get mixed up. Okay, so the goal here is uh, the Brute. These battles really don't matter, by the way, because we're not finishing the scenario. The Brute needs to kill three Oozes and three Lurkers. The Spellweaver needs to kill a Lurker. And then we just leave. Then we just leave. So... You are doing hook and chain, leave and cleave. You're moving here and doing mana bolt. Uh, what do I have you doing as your other card? Aid from the ether. That's fine. They're splitting this turn. Interesting. Okay. You're going to attack there. Good. And you're just going to move up. Uh, 
you are doing this to move there. Skip the rest of the movement. You get an attack because that movement was in a straight line. Excellent. Uh, fantastic. Shield Bash, Overwhelming Assault. You're going to do uh, Frackling Air, Impaling Eruption. Okay, they're splitting again, which means I have to kill this turn. Or else I am in trouble. Fine, I'm going to take the guaranteed kill of this Shield Bash. Which was the right call, because the default attack 2 would not have done it. Um... You're going to set that up, and you're going to move there. Ride the wind, fire orbs, skewer, balance measure. All right, skewer, balance measure, fire orbs, ride the wind. Move, boots. What are they doing? Tell me what they're doing. And they're not moving. Okay. So one. No, uh, not with boots. Oh. I used the boots by accident. Probably not worth reloading for. I forgot. I saved the boots for using with trample to get more movement on the trample later. Um that ends up being more important. All right, uh, like I said, skewer, balance measure, you're doing fire orbs, ride the wind. One. One. Let me do two, three, four, five. Uh, two, three, four, five, six. Two, three, four, five, six. And dead. They have a range six attack. That's unfortunate. Uh, two, three, four, five, six, which means they can hit me. Um, if I go there, they can still both hit me. Well, sucks to be me. Uh, skip the rest of that movement. Use the potion. I'm gonna attack the three lurkers. Okay. I was hoping to kill the back one and not the front one, but uh, this will have to do. We're gonna summon some more deep terrors, which is not good. Trample, Fatal Advance, you're doing that and getting out of there as quickly as possible. Uh, just, just barely fast enough. Oh, I should have had you do the Freezing Nova to try and kill those uh, Deep Terrors. That's okay, I'm not finishing this scenario this turn. Alright. Kill that. Um, I think I'm gonna do that and trample through those. <laughs> All right. Uh, short rest. That's fine. I just want the overwhelming assault. And you long rest because you're not going to get a turn. Overwhelming assault should still be enough to guarantee kill here. Uh, which is good. I needed a guaranteed kill. Right. Abandon quest. Uh, yep. Return to map. Three, three, two, and you killed two. Okay, perfect. Got everything we needed there. 
One last scenario. Aethercratic Ascent. Yep, 609. Nice. And you should be at 18 out of 20. Perfect. That's where I need you to be. Um, Alright. Uh, I don't believe there's anything to do. Yeah. You just go to Aethercratic Ascent. <coughs> so... This is another one where we don't need to finish. Uh, just watch the deer. You get a blessing. Don't need to finish this one. We need to kill... The brute needs to kill three spitting drakes. The uh, spellweaver needs to kill one spitting drake, one hound. Um, there's some other enemies we're going to kill along the way. The tricky part to this one is there are exactly four spitting drakes. So they have to be split three and one. Uh... That shouldn't be too difficult to do, mind you. Um, but there's a little bit of variance depending on how you draw in one of the rooms. So you go there and you're doing balanced measure uh, leaping cleave. You go there and you're doing aid from the ether crackling air. Let's go. Okay, that's fine. Hounds are gonna move up. Hounds are easy. Uh, they're gonna be free kills. We just have to let them get into position this turn. Hope they don't try to immobilize us next turn. Do a default attack here. Great. Now we can be guaranteed to kill all the hounds. Uh, you're going to set up Crackling Air. And you're going to go here. And you're done. Uh, you're just doing what? Fatal Advance? Uh, Fatal Advance and Hook and Chain. You're doing... Mana Bolt Impaling Eruption. Perfect. They did not choose to immobilize us. We're going to use Impaling Eruption plus the Potion. Guaranteed kill on all four hounds. Clear them out of the way. Uh, you're going to go here. And do that. Uh, Alright. And now Spare Dagger, Overwhelming Assault. Fire Orbs, Ride the Wind. Overwhelming Assault plus Boots get us into this next room to a very specific spot where I can push this elite Rending Drake through these two traps before it gets a chance to go. Crap. Spitting Drakes are stunning this turn. Uh, okay. I think that's probably fine. Uh, I think that's probably fine. Attack these two, see if we kill either of them. We did not. So the Spellweaver is going to be stunned for next turn. Though it's up to the Brute to kill these two. Uh, sweeping Blow, Trample. We're going to try to kill both of them. You're just going to play your cards to no effect. Since you're going to be stunned... We're going to jump to here. Uh, yeah, use the power potion here. Perfect. Take care of both of them. You're long resting this turn. You are short resting. That's fine. Freezing Nova, reviving Aether. You're getting your cards back. Um... Okay, uh, yep. You can heal yourself. You get back your burned cards. You long rest. You can get rid of spare. Uh, you can get rid of sweeping blow at this point. End turn. Alright. Skewer, Balanced Measure, and you're going to do Fire Orbs, Ride the Wind. Uh, yep. So, Skewer, Boots. I want you to go all the way to here. 
and attack this one. Fantastic. Don't care about that. You're going to back off a little bit, but that's okay. Now I just hope to get lucky with uh, my draw here. Because if I draw a plus two, we can just end now. Um, we're going to go to here. Minus two, plus one. That's unfortunate. Uh, you do whatever. You do your fastest initiative. So the brute killed four enemies, and the spell weaver killed five. That sounds correct. We'll know we did it correctly if both of those characters retire when we get back to town. Nice. And we're almost done. Now we just gotta do some cleanup. First we unlock Cthulhu, uh, who is also known as the Plague Herald. And perfect. And we also unlock Too Many, which is called Too Many because if you have a physical game, it comes with two minis. Also known as the Beast Tyrant. Alright, uh, cleanup. We put you and you in the party. Go to the temple. <coughs> Get another prosperity there. You retired. Gloomhaven Wolf 4 is good. We got it a bit earlier than we needed to because we got a couple extra prosperity along the way. And we unlocked the saw. Short for sawbones. Uh, Alright, and then you, merchant. Uh, we go to the shop. You need to buy a bunch of stuff now. We're gonna sell this amulet of life for money. Uh, alright. Hats. You're buying one, two iron helmets. Uh, you're buying one, two hide armors. You're buying one, two poison daggers and a heater shield. You're buying one, two boots of striding. You're buying minor potions. Make sure you click on the minor ones. There we go. Do helping hand, which unlocks music note, which as you can guess is a bard. Or as they're formerly known, the Soothsinger. And we also unlock three spears. And there's still one more we have to unlock after this, even though we've retired everyone in our party. So we've got the Quartermaster now. So now we need to create a new character, because we need a character that actually is going to start with a significant amount of money. Uh, nope. We are looking for Augmented Abilities, is the name of the uh, personal quests. And since we've retired characters, these have now changed. And yes, I'm just going down the home row, naming them. because So the thing is, all of your characters have to have a different name 
uh, including different from ones you've retired previously. So I can't do numbers. Uh, I could have to create up to 12 characters here. Uh, there we go. You. Well, K, but... So, put K in the party, go to the Enchantress. Yes, I know how to use the Enchantress. We're upgrading this Pierce. Uh, this push. Uh, excuse me? Oh, yeah. This move. And this move. And last one, circles. Does a lot of summoning, so you can probably guess that this is the summoner. And time. Yeah, that cleanup went longer because I had to create... So the last run I did, I got lucky and had to create one character. Um, this time I had to create eight. Uh, so there's a little bit of RNG at the very end of the run there, but what are you going to do? Hey, look, I got sub 330. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. I, I feel like I had some bad RNG early in the run, but later in the run, uh, I made up for it. Um, 